God, thank God we made it to the main event. I want this show to end now. I can't take this shit anymore. I hope this match just goes quick now. What is more hard to win? Get get the fuck over with it. Get the fuck over with it already. That is a human being like no other. A specimen constructed to obliterate his opposition. Former NCAA Division I heavyweight champion. All-American UFC heavyweight champion. IWGP heavyweight champion. Four-time WWE World Champion, and let's not forget, the Beast Incarnate ended the single greatest streak in all of entertainment. No other athlete walking the planet in the same category as Brock Lesnar. Ladies and gentlemen, huh. my name is Paul Heyman. on their feet for this main event because you don't watch Brock Lesnar compete you experience it oh my god When the show ends, I will come back, okay? When the show ends and I finish the pay-per-view, I will be back. And we were on early. I don't know where John and them all are right now, but we were on like about three or four hours ago. He said he was getting on in an hour. Okay. Raw versus SmackDown. Let's get this over with. I just want to lose because of the whole drug scandal. Okay. That, that other thing is too pussy to not suspend him. But then again, what are they going to do? That just proves the wellness test is a whole fucking bullshit thing. Fucking hypocrisy. 
Now Owens finding out firsthand what it is to deal with the Beast Incarnate on top of his game. Lesnar looking to utilize his brute strength. Brawling early against Randy Orton. There's a reason why the premier combat athlete on Earth uh -oh. was to uh -oh. the premier show in WWE Monday Night Raw. Series of back elbows by the Apex oh, Predator. Oh, and a beautiful standing truck kick by Orton. Oh, look at the RKO, but it's... Ain't getting that early. Lesnar, hey, the guys. premier show's beast incarnate almost got RKO'd out of nowhere right there. Remember last year, or a couple years ago at SummerSlam, 16 German suplexes. I count one. one. And you're right, 16. Uh, I guess they'll count the SummerSlam before. Randy Orton just paid a visit to Suplex City. Orton said he knew he was going to Suplex City. He knew it was going to be a bumpy ride. Now reality sets in. Okay. <laughs> Two. Another German Suplex by the Beast Incarnate, headlining his third straight SummerSlam. Brock doesn't work by the hour. Brock Lesnar would be happy to have this in early. Brutal knees to the abdomen. Uh oh, here comes three. And another German suplex by Brock Lesnar. Randy Orton's doing everything he can to block those German suplex. Absolutely to no avail. Just imagine the shock every time they hit that canvas. Brock Lesnar manhandling with that German suplex. How it jars your entire body. Corey yeah. removing Suplex Whoa. City from the equation. Whoa. What is the Get biggest key to victory for Brock Lesnar tonight? Brock Lesnar just needs to stay the course. He came out of the gate strong. He's absolutely decimating Randy Orton, and he's enjoying it. Look at the smile on his face. Brock just needs to stay the course. And you're right, John, as Randy Orton desperately trying to block that German Suplex, unable to do so. And if that's the case, it's going to be a short night for Randy Orton. I agree with my raw counterpart there, but I don't even know. I lost count. That four or five. Randy Orton yeah. killing one thing. Randy Orton takes Brock Lesnar to Viperville, and that's an RKO. When you have that in the bag, you've always got a chance. It really is the great equalizer, that RKO, but thus far it is Brock Lesnar beating down Randy Orton and delivering yet another German suplex. That's number five, as the advocate will proudly decide play for you right now suplex city making viperville look like a trailer park and we know look all it takes is one rko but how effectively can that rko be delivered after german suplex after german suplex in this match and despite both superstars debuting on the wwe main roster in 2002 this is the first time they have faced off on pay-per-view how effective is the rko he has 12 world championships does randy orton Lesnar, the only man to win an NCAA championship, a UFC heavyweight title, and again, a four-time WWE world champion. John, you called him the most dominating combat Just like Taz would say, here come the pain. Six. The greatest combat athlete in this country's history. I stand by that. And things do not look good right now for the SmackDown Live representative, Randy Orton. Jake Briscoe was a great NCAA champion. Bruno Sammartino, great WWE champion. Jim Shamrock, great UFC champion. The only one that's done all three is the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Well, Randy Orton valiantly trying to fight back here on the outside with his forearms while placed knee by Lesnar. Yeah, very little effect on Brock Lesnar. Oh, there's a strength of power of Lesnar. Look out, guys. Oh, look at the drag Orton through the table. Randy would have been better off that table would have broke. Randy got in the crowd. Into the front row here with the WWE guys. Right, right. Really uncomfortable being this close to the action. Corey Brock Lesnar frothing at the mouth, stalking his prey. It's like a Bengal tiger that's been unleashed here in Barclays Center. <laughs> and it might have fucking broke. throw from the other side of the back. <laughs> he landed sitting down. Thus far here at SummerSlam, taking the fight to Randy Orton. Yes, yeah, send, send this home. I hope the referee said that. Send this home.
a technical wrestling match. It's a fight, and thus far, Brock Lesnar has the advantage, Corey. This is the first time in my career I could ever say that Brock Lesnar putting his opponent back in the ring was an act of mercy. Randy Orton's lucky he didn't, wasn't broken in half. Suplex City, bitch. Brock Lesnar toying with Randy Orton. I didn't think I'd ever be saying that in this Seven. That's an unlucky seven. Wow, he bleeds easily. Brock Lesnar is destroying a 12-time world champion. And more than just bragging rights, one has to think uh -oh. of a potential title. Yes. Yes. All I've seen is Orton get his ass kicked down. Oh my gosh. Cutting a swath of destruction here at the Barclays in Brooklyn. The SmackDown Live table's already been destroyed. I have they call our Raw table's about to join it. They call it the greatest class of all time, the one that Randy Orton and Brock Lesnar was able. Brock has beaten everybody. If this motherfucker hits the RKO. Class. And I think right now, Brock Lesnar is putting an emphatic stamp on the legacy of his career and of Randy Orton's. And I think Brock Lesnar isn't just interested in winning the match. I think he's interested in potentially ending Randy Orton's career. And this may be about to be accomplished. Oh! RKO! Didn't even break! The table didn't break! Did he hit that RKO? You son of a bitch! Guess who's back in the match? The RKO! Unbelievable! We said he just took one! I, I admit, I, I'm impressed after seven German suplexes. Or to find a winner with all. Watch this! RKO out of nowhere! Two of the most devastating weapons in sports entertainment. Hey, I mean, few people have ever come into this sport with more hype than Randy Orton did. He's lived up to every bit of that potential. But right at night, he can have the greatest victory of his career. We've seen the German suplexes, but also in Lesnar's arsenal, the F5. Look at right now. DDT is son of a bitch. We gotta kick this son of a bitch right, in the head. Yeah. Now it's now it's the beast who's in trouble. <laughs> it looks like SmackDown is gonna have the man that deeds wronged, the beast incarnate. Holy old SmackDown live, Randy Orton. He's hearing voices. Lesnar struggling to get back up to his feet. Is he going to be able this to is it? RKO! In the show, God. Lester kicks out. There are too many people on the planet Earth that can say that they have stalked the Beast Incarnate like Randy Orton has just done. And Paul Heyman experiencing heart palpitations at ringside Corey, after that second. Corey, you're right, right, but what do you do when you stalk the Beast and you take your best shot? And he's still moving. Two tools of destruction. Randy Orton and Brock Lesnar meeting for the first time. Oh, God, please kick him in the skull. He's going to kick him into an F5. I feel like and then it's going to be over. He's going to try to kick his head off. Son of a bitch. And it's over. One, two. Lesnar just puts a slam in SummerSlam with his F5. Okay. Wow! Look at this, Orton may be looking for that point that he has ended careers with. He runs into an F5. An explosive response by Brock Lesnar. Now Lesnar taking off the gloves. Brooklyn has fought some of the best rappers in the game. And these two wanting to hit each other more than any diss track. Oh, oh, and Hyder looking. Now we've gone to UFC mode. From the ground and pound position. This is just fair bones trying to bust up your opponent. Oh, look at this. Look at that opening up Orton with those elbows. This is just pure malice. Those slashing elbows, the clubbing forearms, the beast incarnate in a feeding frenzy. We're seeing the animalistic tendencies of Brock Lesnar at its core. Randy Orton might be on the just knock Randy out. Four on to the head. Randy Orton isn't moving. 
Good Lord Almighty! Look how casual Lesnar sits in the corner, just relaxed, enjoying his handiwork. This doctor needs to call this fight now. Hey, man. I think for SmackDown's sake, you better hope the referees call this. You're not going to have a superstar. This is getting uncomfortable to watch. Rock Lesnar mulling Randy Orton. Much as I hate to agree with you, Corey, you're right. Goldberg! Goldberg! Randy Orton in dire straits. Goldberg! Wow, what a way to pretty much kill Randy Orton's push and momentum. Since he's now bleeding like a damn faucet out here. God, this pay-per-view has been bad. It's over. Fuck this shit. Well. The bell is gone. Ah. And we've just witnessed a SummerSlam massacre, John. I hate to say it. Before we witness any more, somebody better get Randy Orton out of there. Here is your winner by TKO, Brock Lesnar! So Ross Brock Lesnar. The ride is a pressure, decimating Randy Orton at SummerSlam. The winner by TKO, pure desperation, brutality, but that's why they call him the Beast Incarnate. He is the card of reporting for duty. And the result uh, of his job lie at his feet. See you in six months, Brock. Brock. Sick, smile creep across the face of Brock Lesnar. And guys, the referee could be absolutely... All right, all right. That's enough. Shit. A brutal assault. This, you got to be thinking about Randy Orton's long-term health here. Yeah, this is I damn it, want Goldberg to come out now to stop this. Here comes SmackDown Live Commissioner Shane McMahon. Shane, be careful. Oh, yeah, shit. That's not smart, Shane. Nigga, what? He just wants to tend to his... You want some? Randy is helpless. I think everyone's helpless when Brock Lesnar's in the ring. Oh, God, Shane, Shane, Shane! Suspended for six months. Brock Lesnar just F5, the commissioner of SmackDown Live. Look at Paul Heyman begging Lesnar to stop. What a bunch of bullshit ending this was. And that's it, huh? No Goldberg, nobody coming out. Shocking end to SummerSlam. It's gonna be Shane versus Brock now. Well, this son of a bitch won't be seen for the next six months. We out of here.